What's up guys? Uh, it's been a while, but I wanted to do another one of these um, little quick tip, Ableton quick tip. Um, I had a friend uh, ask me just now how to print your click in Ableton, which it's not very easy. Um, much easier in Pro Tools and I would assume Logic. I don't really know Logic very well. Um, but because Ableton uh, treats the click as not its own like audio or MIDI track, it doesn't go through the master bus, it doesn't do anything like that. It's um, a lot harder to bounce that click or print that click if you're wanting to send somebody an audio click track with either like if you're bouncing stems or if you're in, in the case of my friend, he was getting someone to track a uh, guitar on a song he's working on and it had some weird meter changes and so he just wanted to bounce the original click. Well, it's not super easy to do in Ableton, but um, I'm gonna show you how in this video. All right, so here's my just default Ableton session. Got a couple MIDI tracks, got a couple audio tracks, and I'm gonna show you guys how to print uh, a click. Um, so uh, let's say, um, the song is what I just have as the default is 70 BPM um, and then I've got the meter set to four over eight. So normally if we have the click on, right, we can hear it coming out of our speakers, that's great, but um, it's not coming out of our master, right? And so that's what I was talking about earlier. Ableton doesn't treat the click like uh, its own track. It's kind of just, assist. it's in the system, I don't know if that makes sense. But, um, so what we're gonna do to get around that is we are going to create a drum rack and actually use the click samples, Ableton click samples, and just draw in the click. So it's a bit uh, it's a bit of work on the front end, but once you have a drum rack and save it, um, it makes it a lot faster. So we're gonna start by opening Finder. Um, I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna navigate to our applications. And then I'm actually running the beta version of live, but uh, you should see Ableton, um, whichever one you're running, right at the top. We're gonna right click on that, show package contents. Um, and then we are going to go to app resources, down to miss, um, miscellaneous, and then go to metronome and samples. And so there we have our, there's that, there's the up. So that's like the, the accent. So let's tab back over to Ableton and let's create a drum rack in our first MIDI channel. And so I'm gonna name this MIDI channel, um, click. And then since it's 70 BPM, let's go 70, um, four, eight. Um, and so we're just gonna grab these samples and we're gonna put them into our drum rack like so. Um, and now what we can do is we can create a MIDI tr um, clip inside of this track. So I'll just select select a little chunk, Command Shift M to create a MIDI clip. And then I'm gonna draw, I'm just gonna draw in um, my, uh, my uh, click. Nice. So now I'm just gonna duplicate that. Um, let's duplicate it all the way to the end of the clip that I made. And since our clip is set to loop, we can literally just drag this, move it wherever, drag it the entire length of our session, and it'll just go. So you can see it's a little quiet. I might just gain that up some. So it's basically just all the way loud. Boom, so now that click goes for the entirety of our track. And so now if we wanna bounce that, um, we can just select the uh, the time that we wanna bounce, Command-Shift-R, select that track, click. Oh, I misspelled it, oh well. Export, and then let's go, I'm just gonna stick this on my desktop. Click, 74.8, oops. Um, Save that, boom. So now if we hop back over to Finder, go to our desktop, we have it right there. As its own uh, stem. So if we wanna save this drum rack, so that way we know we don't have to do that anymore, um, I'm gonna pull the utility plugin in here so the drum rack automatically comes with it 
gained up some. Uh, so now we just hit save and we can go, I'm gonna call this click print brack. So now in the future, if I wanna do the same thing, let's delete this. All I do um, is command F, click print. Now I've got my rack, I just drop it in there, create a new MIDI clip, and then do the same thing all over again. And that's it. <laughs>